Totally groovy. Hmm. Yeah. Did you like it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Alyssa. And I'm Matoki, and this is Expert Amateur Fraud, a show where we try to figure out who the expert is and who's faking it. And today, we are interviewing three... Bom, ba -dom. <gasps> Bartenders. Bartenders. Okay. The coolest people on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess we might get a little tipsy. You're gonna have to be drinking for me. I actually don't drink. I'm oh. very cool and sober. And that's okay. No. <laughs> what about you? I mean, I drink. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, every other weekend. I worked at a restaurant and I became really good friends with the bartender and he was like everybody's best friend. I was about to say, they're, yeah, they're almost I, therapists. Yes, I think person. that's a good sign yeah. for a bartender. Yeah. Could you be my therapist? <laughs> right. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, okay. bartender. Hello. Are you guys tired? Because you had a late night? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just woke up. Um, I think for round one, will you guys do some shots? Sure. I think every party, yeah. you gotta start with some shots, yeah. right? All right, shots. Let's do it. Shots, 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 Oh, wow, what is wow. that? Passion fruit. Ooh. So this is a, um, a mixed shot, so it's not so spirit forward. You're not gonna just taste like alcohol. Smells really good over here. Whoa, you got a cucumber? I'm seeing this, that, the way he's pouring. Oh, you're already done. Oh, I'm done. wow. Yes. Oh my god. Okay, it looks very cute it's and so seasonal. Cute. Yes. T timely for now. Yes. Seasonal. Many orders of these. This is fun. Is this like a ring Ooh, of tahini? Yeah, wow. tahini. I know tahini. Okay, okay. Okay. Matoki, oh, so. get to drink. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to explain your shot to us? So this is a tiki tequila shot. Passion fruit syrup, some coconut syrup, resposado, and then some lime juice. And then a little bit of tahini on the rim. Smells really good. Okay. I think you're gonna like that. Okay, well cheers. Thank you for making this. You're welcome. Cheers. cheers. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm drunk. Uh, no. uh, it's good. It's got a nice little sourness mm -hmm. to it. I'll take it just a little more. A little sip? Please, yeah. it's just a little. He likes it. <laughs> this is nothing fancy. This is a play on a um, whiskey sourish. A little bourbon, a little basil. But the job of a shot is to get you drunk. And okay. this will do that. I feel like you kind of went with like a classic shot is just, you know. Well, when you're... When you're doing like high volume in a bar, you don't want to try to dress it up. You just got to go. Well, that's surprisingly sweet. Yeah? That's good. Yeah, I did. Right. I thought it would taste way more like just straight alcohol. Okay. Would recommend. What is this creation? So this is the apple pie shot. So it's just one ounce of um, apple cider, one ounce of fireball, and topped with a little whipped cream and a cinnamon stick just to what a, Make it cute. This is gorgeous. And as yeah. a basic fall girl. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if Starbucks sold alcohol, Star yes. this would be it. You know? I did used to work for them. Oh, did you? Yes. Yeah. Like everyone, I had a taste aversion now to Fireball because of a traumatic experience in college. Uh -oh. Yes. Yeah, but been there. for the sake of video. Hmm. Yeah. Did you like it? Sorry. <laughs> college is hitting again. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh. Okay, fireball. Is I understand, yeah. I understand. Is fireball like a college? Uh, when drink? you drink too much, it can do some damage to you. Make sure you're old enough to drink, by the <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, make sure you're old enough to drink and don't drive. Make us your favorite cocktail. Yeah, maybe your favorite one to make. Maybe a popular one. We're muddling fresh cucumber in here. Yeah. Just to get the essence of that cucumber into the vodka. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, shake wow. that, shake it. Sorry. You're good. You're good. Shake it all, baby. Shake it all, baby. Shake it all. What is this called? Just your standard, kind of your standard bar, too. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're already done? Yep. Okay, wow. you kind of do it you're quick. Fast. We're watching your form. Spank. All right. So, how much do you personally Ooh, care about this presentation? Is like, That's obviously. probably my favorite part. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's kind of like self care. 
Whoa. Love that. What's this? Yeah, just so when you take the first sip, you get that hint of lemon, not lime. Set your palate for the drink. Okay. All right, Lulu's bar. This looks gorgeous. This is my mood, I would say. <laughs> Where do you get this dried dragon fruit? I actually make those myself. Why? What? You're looking out <laughs> right? for your customers. It's good. Yeah, what, okay. I'm tasting multiple things like the little cucumber, get the dragon fruit. You a know. little orange liqueur. Yeah. Lime. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank Amazing you. job. All right, Thank Kevin. You. My dad's name is Kevin. Good name. Keep that in mind. <laughs> so this is something that is pretty simple, but it's pretty kind of bar standard. It's like a version of like an east side, which is kind of like a vodka, lime juice. It's something that's easy to make. Is, is that basil? basil? Basil in a cucumber called a boat. You guys oh, see this? Oh, cute. It's through. Where are you from? Kentucky. Oh. Love it. That's where my mom's from. Is your dad from there too? No. Oh. Are you my dad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Did you get started making drinks? Yeah. As a young lad. I actually Kentucky. started in my fraternity in college. Oh. Too, so. You like it? It actually has like um, similar qualities to the, the shot. That yeah. Yeah. He's got a stop. Very similar. It's one of those things where you don't taste the alcohol as yeah. much. Well, here's the yeah. secret is making the cocktails easy to bar for the bartender to make and easy for the customer to drink. It needs more so they drink more. So it needs more. Kevin. <laughs> Ooh. Michaela, what is this gorgeous little number? So this is called the paper plane. I like to call it an Italian sunset because it has a lot of, you know, Italian Aww. liqueurs in it. So it's gonna be bourbon, Amaro, which is like an herby liqueur, mm. and then um, Campari, or you can use Aperol if you want a little sweeter. So it's gonna be pretty bitter. Before I drink it though, I wanna see you hold that just for fun. Hold it. Yeah. He doesn't know how to hold it. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. If you go like this, you're gonna heat it up faster, so it's up to you. Oh, whoa, okay. that was That's kind of fair. an interesting tidbit. Well, cheers. I feel like Great Gatsby. Do you think that a bartender would know that or just anybody would know that about the heating that's it up? That's valid. I, that's a good, that's a good. Mm. Something to think about. <laughs> mm. <gasps> oh yeah, that's strong. Let me smell. Mm. Smell test? <laughs> <laughs> This is probably gonna be a fun one for you guys. Free for all. Yeah. All right, let the <laughs> games begin, folks. All right. <laughs> They're off to the races. <laughs> What's the most rewarding thing for you as a bartender? My love language is pretty much hospitality business. So just contributing to everybody having a good time. That's what it's all about. Food, fun, Food, memories. Fun. Exactly. Memories. Yeah. Well, you make me feel Good. All right. <laughs> we got our speed Not you, Kevin. Over here. <laughs> Not me, right? I'm just kidding. Jeremiah, your dad? Yeah, a little bit. Sorry. No. <laughs> my mom and my dad. <laughs> well, you already done? Yes. What the heck? Maybe we distract Lulu. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, we're going to try not to play. <laughs> Whoa, what'd you do? I made a Manhattan. This is what I like to end the night with. This is your favorite cup. This is my favorite cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah You've yeah. used it. It's cute. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wow, is that a pineapple slice? Yes, that is a wow. grilled pineapple dehydrated. Ooh, Lulu's yeah. classic garnishes. That looks like a flower. <laughs> so this is just a jalapeno uh, pineapple margarita made with a reposado, and then of course tahini, because it's traditional. We love <laughs> yeah. it, a cake. We love tahini. Bottoms up. Okay. Mm. That's really good. I feel like this would be a good like, barbecue drink. Wow. Because of the grilled. You're getting the smokiness from the grilled oh. pineapple. It's the garnish, it enhances the ingredients with the essence. So now you're getting the smell of it when you drink it. So it's also bringing wow. other notes and stuff forward. It does, I feel like I'm at a barbecue. Where's my cousin? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kev. So this is a very, very classic, simple cocktail. Okay. Known as a mule. I'm sure you've yeah. heard of that mule. It's kind of what got me into bartending. It's just your simple Kentucky mule. Okay. Oh, not a Moscow. Moscow mules with vodka, Kentucky mules with bourbon. This yeah. is the one drink I said, because I don't drink, but I was like, if I did drink, I would drink a mule. Yeah, it's very simple to make, mm -hmm. and it's not time consuming. Profit yeah. people really just go back to a mule. Get back into Kentucky. <laughs> Kentucky roots. <laughs> oh, this is good. Once again, pretty similar to the other drinks. Now, do you care about ice at all? I know some people are <laughs> snobs about ice. I have to have a drink with ice in it. Because ice kind of brings out the flavor of most alcohols. I mean, you you're about to say something. Oh, thank you. oh ice is vital. <laughs> yeah. You don't want 
thin, hollow ice because once you shake, you just automatically water down your drink. Speaking of ice, no, talk to us about this. So this is a Manhattan, two ounces of bourbon, one ounce of sweet vermouth, so you don't get the harsh taste of bourbon, and then a little bit of bitters, and then a sweet cherry on top to balance it out. And it's stirred in ice to make it cold. Uh, it's definitely alcohol. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you feel like you like to talk to your customers a lot? Oh yeah, because the more you talk, then they're gonna, you know, drink their drink a little faster again, a little profit. So what made you want to be a bartender? Um, well, I started working at Starbucks. Oh, that's and right. And I just liked, you know, the creativeness, high-paced customer service, and people are more happy when you give them booze instead of coffee at six in the morning, so. Yeah. Sure. Right. That was it for the final round. Yeah, um, that was the final round. You guys all did an incredible job, and you're all <laughs> wonderful you. people. You get, you get A's. <laughs> It was fun. It was fun. It was also kind of like intimidating. Yeah. Because bartenders, they're so cool. It's hard to tell because at the same time, like alcohol, it's a little subjective, right? Even if I don't like a drink, doesn't mean that they prepared it wrong. Of course. Or... So yeah, you were obviously drinking all of them. I was not. Yeah, it was. Michaela's drinks to me seemed a little more legit. Mm. Like she definitely, like I feel like went to some kind of school for it. Now Kevin, was very like hometown drinking. Mm, I feel like it was very practical. And you said that most of his drinks tasted the same. They did. What'd you think of Lulu? I was like blown away by her dehydrated pineapple yeah. and things. Yeah, I thought Lulu's were great. Tasted awesome. Presentation was spectacular. But at the same time, like anybody on say Pinterest or TikTok could see like a tutorial and recreate it. So let's say Lulu is I'd say amateur. I'd say expert. Amateur. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, let me just take a sip of this. Yeah, take a sip and then <clears throat> see. Is that the drink of an amateur? Come on Woo. in. Woo, welcome back. For the expert, we thought it was Lulu. You had such a vast knowledge of not only like the drinks you were making, you were making your own garnishes and grilling and dehydrating them. Yeah, presentation wise, like it was really cool. And if you're not the expert, then you had us duped. Yeah, you had us duped hardcore. <laughs> I was 21, I went to bartending school, and ever since, literally, that's been my job. I'm a slash bartender, mixologist, beverage consultant, mobile wow. bartending catering company um, with my own brand. Being in the hospitality industry, especially now, uh, it could be really tough. Yes, you're gonna learn drinks, but also do you have the capacity of having thick skin and having patience with customers, explaining things to your servers, to your staff. So that's, that's the main thing that I teach my students first and foremost, before they even get behind the bar. So the amateur, this is where it gets tricky. We are gonna go with Michaela, because you're wearing an apron. <laughs> <laughs> That convinced us, there's yeah, nothing really else to be did. said. I mean, being like a, a barista at first too, it feels like a seamless transition. Oh, <laughs> no, the apron! <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. judge an apron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did work for Starbucks, but I just work at a computer. I'm an analyst. I do like to make drinks. In college, I would make my roommate mojitos all the time, and I do like to make myself a nice whiskey drink before bed. I have no experience with bartending. I mean, quarantine, COVID, definitely made some drinks at home. Not just like you know vodka and root beer, but like. Some, some fruit and stuff. Well, Kev, <laughs> you down to you. You're the amateur. Wow. You do good. have such like a confidence about you, and I initially, when I first like just saw everybody, I was like expert. Dude. I feel like yeah, you were kind of going so fast and stuff. We thought you were like I don't know, trying to just do. But I got. I bartended for years. I don't anymore. Oh. I was in I was in hospitality for ten years until recently. So I've done positions from bartending to food and beverage manager. And my first bartending job was at a nightclub, yeah. where I was able to just crank them out. No, you killed it. Yeah. As, as fast as humanly possible. That's what you kind of have to do. That was kind of funny. I was just looking over 
at their drinks and I was like, oh, that looks great. And then looking over at Michaela's drinks, I was like, oh, that looks great too. I was like, mine looked pretty shitty and it's gonna get them. Thanks for the free Thank alcohol. Thank you guys. Yes. You are all amazing. Thank Good job. You. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Did you guys guess right? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, we knew that Lulu was the expert, and I'm gonna go home and be able to sleep peacefully at night yeah. because of that. Mm -hmm. And I will sleep well because of the alcohol in my system. Yeah.